John Moore, director of Max Payne, good to meet you. Thank you. Did you feel quite a lot of pressure taking on a, a video game adaptation just because in the past, you know, they've not had a, had a great reputation? No, they do have a patchy history. You know, they're, they're very hit and miss. But the reason I felt confident with this particular adaptation is because unlike a lot of video games, Max Payne has a real story. And the people who wrote the game, who invented the game, are clearly great lovers of movies. So there f it felt that there was a movie in there. You know, it wasn't difficult to extract the movie from the game. And how much did the game influence the film? I mean, obviously it's the basis, but did you play the game? Did you uh, speak I to the I played members? the game. I immersed myself in the game. I think it would have been uh, uh, stupid not to, to be quite frank, because you owe the fans at least a level of understanding that, that they've attained. Uh, with the game. So yes, I played it a lot. I'm uh, um, not very good at it, but <laughs> I did try my best. I had to hire a 17-year-old to show me how to do it properly, but, <laughs> but it worked out in the end. Now, I'm going to quote you in the production notes here, saying it's not minimum pain, not medium pain, it's max pain. Can mm -hmm. you explain that ethos? Well, the, the idea is that this guy doesn't quit, you know? This guy doesn't take a day off. His, you know, and that, that appeals to me. I think the, the singularity of purpose for any human being is, is is very appealing you know and uh, that, that's that's the way it is with max he you know he he barely eats he barely keeps himself alive just for one purpose which is to find out who killed his wife and child now it's a very intense and and, and quite dark film was mm -hmm. it quite an intense shoot how was the production you know it's funny the 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 thing about mark is that he's a very lighthearted guy you know when he when we're not rolling so mark kept things very pleasant, very light. Um, he can switch on like that when he has to switch on. But to be quite honest, it was it was actually quite a fun shoot for such a dark movie. Now I was going to ask you a bit about the cast. I mean, what was it like working with Mark Wahlberg, but also Mila Kunis and, and obviously new Bond girl Olga Kurilenko? A lot of fun. You know, like I said, Mark's, um, Mark's probably the most professional actor I've ever worked with. He's um, he's extraordinarily dedicated to to the job he's doing. He's um, and he also has a great sense of uh, normality. You know, for a movie star, he has a great sense of of propriety. Um, Mila was a lot of fun. A very different role for her. You know, most people probably know her from that '70s show and things like that. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so it was fun for her to be able to, you know, shoot some guns and kick some ass. So people had a pretty good time, you know. And Olga Korlyanko, who's going to be, like, just the biggest movie star in the world. She's like Sophia Loren. We were very lucky to get, to, to get, to get Olga. Also, you've got big names, Bo Bridges and Chris O'Donnell, who we haven't seen maybe in a big movie for a while. We haven't seen Chris for a while, and Chris played the part, I just think, beautifully. Um, very, very giving, a very giving actor. Again, a very professional actor. Chris is a very, you know, takes his job very seriously, um, as does Mark. But uh, Chris, I mean, uh, uh, Chris takes a beating in the movie that, uh, you know, a lot of actors would have been whining about and, oh, shouldn't I fight back? But Chris understands the parts he's playing. He understood that this was the part. And he took it and he did it beautifully. I was just going to mention the girls just once more. There's uh, obviously these two... They're very mentionable. They are very mentionable, <laughs> but two beautiful girls in the film, but there's no actual, there's no actual sex scenes. How no. Did, how did you manage that? Uh, <laughs> it's quite easy. All kept turning me down. Um, no, what, what it is is basically, you know, we had to demonstrate the idea that Max is so heartbroken and emotionally frozen by the death of his wife that it's simply there is no other woman for him. So he can turn down the greatest offer ever made in a film. Well, as she says and looks him right in the eye and says, you're kicking me out of your bed. And, uh, yeah, that's how much in love he was with his wife.